God visits us. Genesis chapter 28 verses 10 through 18 selected verses. Now Jacob went from Beersheba and went toward Haran. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set. And he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head and he lay down in that place to sleep. Then he dreamed and behold a ladder was set up on the earth and its top reached to heaven. And there the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. And the land which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. Verse 16. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. We have here an account of Jacob having this wonderful dream. And many of us know this incident uh, when we refer to Jacob's ladder. Because in that dream, he saw a ladder reaching up from pl the place where he had put his head all the way into heavens. And he saw the op heavens open and he saw angels ascending and descending. I want to highlight a few things here. In this dream, God is visiting Jacob. Of course, Jacob is in a certain season of his life. He has actually done something that is very wrong. He has cheated uh, his brother and he has uh, taken away the, uh, uh, the birthright from Esau. He has deceived his brother and his father. And now he's uh, on the run, actually, uh, for his own life, his own safety. So he's, he's, in a very, he's in a very precarious situation in his life. And it is at this time that God actually visits him in a dream. That means Jacob says, you know, I've got an encounter with God. So dreams are an opportunity for us to have God encounters. Uh, that means God connects with us. God is touching our earthly life through that dream. Uh, when Jacob wakes up, he is overwhelmed by a sense of God's presence. And he says, surely uh, this is the gateway to heaven. This is the place of God. He calls it Bethel. Uh, that this is God's place. This is how awesome is this place. This is God's dwelling place. He has an encounter with God. He's overwhelmed by the presence of God. That's another thing we need to understand. That when we have a dream from God, usually when we wake up, we are very aware that God has visited us. And we are very aware of a, the presence of God on that dream. God has spoken to me. Uh, and of course, we understand here in this dream that God is communicating to Jacob a promise and also an assurance of what he's going to do. So Jacob, I'm going to give you this land, the land I promised to Abraham and Isaac, I'm going to give it to you. He's telling him about his future, telling him about his purpose. Also remember, in this dream, there is imagery. That means he saw a ladder. That wasn't a literal ladder, but it was symbolic of how uh, this is the entrance of God. God is visiting you. God is coming down to you. Uh, it was symbolic of that. Uh, so what he saw in the dream was prophetic imagery. It had to be understood. It had to be interpreted. But God can visit us in dreams. And we need to be open to that. Let's pray. And we'll ask God to encounter us, visit us through dreams in the night seasons. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we open our hearts to you. And we ask that you will visit us in the night seasons. We ask that like Jacob, God, you will encounter us through dreams in the night. And we pray that you will reveal your purpose, your plan, your destiny through those dreams. Open our hearts to receive your visitations. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.